It's a universal dream to fly like a bird. To soar on wings into the heavens. But it's nothing compared to the reality. Experience our planet as never before. Through the eyes of birds. This is a journey that will embrace the world. A flight across the earth on feathered wings. It's a fantastic voyage, following the changing seasons and taking in some of the greatest events on Earth. Experience a year in the life of our planet. From the lush tropics, to the frozen north and catch a glimpse of our world as never before from a bird's eye view. It's spring in North America, and families of snow geese begin an epic 2,000-mile journey across the continent. They've spent the winter in the far south, but now they have to fly all the way to the Arctic to breed. They won't be traveling alone. They join other snow geese families, united by a common goal. in strength until snow geese fill the sky. Then hundreds become thousands. Within a few days, their ranks are over a million strong. these traditional staging posts to wait for the perfect weather and favorable winds that will help power their migration. They become a vast army ready to take over a continent. But where flocks gather, so do predators. The bald eagle, America's national bird. A creature of cunning and power. And the flock's greatest enemy. There is safety in numbers. Many eyes to watch for danger. Hmm. 
They react as one, the message rippling through the flock. Confuse the predator. They form a blizzard of geese, impossible to target or see through. She must try her luck elsewhere. from years of practice. What goes down must come up. With a fair wind blowing, the snow geese take their cue to leave. They become part of a spring migration across a greening continent, one that features millions of other birds. In Europe, common cranes crossing the Mediterranean lead a similar mass invasion from Africa. Like snow geese, they travel as a family the younger birds gaining from the knowledge of their parents. They'll spend the next three weeks traveling to their breeding grounds on a continent now blossoming with life. traditional routes, a flight path that for many includes Western Europe's largest river delta, the Camargue in France. Below are the famous white horses, an ancient breed that has roamed the sea marshes for centuries. As horses, the marshes provide shelter for a wealth of bird life, 400 varieties in all. The cranes speed onwards to northern Europe. They still have a journey of 1,500 miles to go. To keep 
on course, birds use a magnetic sense that tells them their position at any one time. They also use the sun as a compass point, even allowing for its changing position as it arcs across the sky. But despite a sophisticated navigation system, they prefer to trust their eyes. Landmarks, such as Chateau de Chenonceau in the Loire Valley, are used as a guide from year to year. Young birds on their first migration can see a landmark just once and remember it for a lifetime. One day, they'll use such sites to guide their own families. Below, the trout in the river are full of the joys of spring. But not for long. A migrating osprey had spied his meal from above. But there's always one that gets away. plunges at 50 miles per hour. It's this seasonal abundance of prey that makes the Osprey's 5,000 mile journey from southern Africa worth all the effort. Over the Baja Peninsula at the southern tip of North America, another spring gathering is assembling. Brown pelicans are attracted by the vast anchovy shoals that migrate to these rich waters at this time of year. The drab juveniles are still learning the ways of the ocean. They rely on their more colourful elders to show them the way. The youngsters watch their every move, benefiting from their greater experience and wisdom. understand the habits of every sea creature that might lead them to a meal. Hump 
humpback whales have travelled two and a half thousand miles from the Arctic to breed here. Adult pelicans know that whales announce their arrival by breaching. For the younger birds, it's a new and baffling sight. But by learning to follow whales, pelicans are often rewarded with a meal. But today, these ocean giants have courtship on their minds. The pelicans must find alternative guides to food. They can appear without warning. A sea creature that seems to envy the birds. More likely, the splashes corral fish and plankton, making them easier to catch. It's tempting to think they do it just for fun. are fishing, there's food for pelicans too. On a good day, their pouches can trap three gallons of fish and water in a single go. Like most birds, the pelican's seasonal journeys are driven both by food and a desire to breed. Back in the USA, the snow geese have travelled northwards non-stop for over a thousand miles. Exhaustion is already taking its toll. Ahead lies their greatest challenge. Monument Valley in Arizona. For a tired family, this unforgiving desert is a dangerous place to be.
The valley is all that is left of an ancient seabed, but there's no water here now. The pinnacles were formed through the action of wind. Some now rise a thousand feet above the valley floor. For the migrating birds, this awe-inspiring landscape provides no comfort at all. take, their wings beat three times. Once their fat reserves are gone, they will start to metabolize muscle. But despite the young bird's fatigue, the parents must keep to a tight schedule to reach their nesting grounds with enough time to breed. They drive their flagging family on. They have no plans to break the gruelling journey. But birds are masters of the wind and air. And the sandstone buttresses deflect the slightest breeze. giving the family a free ride to the main flock above. But they still have another thousand miles to go. For countless other travelers, their migration has barely begun. On the southern tip of Africa, a bird's eye view of Cape Town's Table Mountain gives no hint of what's stirring in the seas far offshore. Beneath the waves, the greatest fish migration on the planet has begun, and Cape Gannets are already on its trail. The gannets have thousands of square miles of ocean to search, so they need help in tracking it down. The common dolphin. A creature with an unrivaled knowledge of the undersea world. The two species work as a team, sharing their specialized skills. Dolphins search beneath the waves, while the gannets are the eyes in the sky. first spots the hidden gathering. The arrow towards it at 70 miles per hour. Down, 
down, they reach their target. The Great Sardine Run. But at this depth, the sardines are a struggle to catch. The gannets come up with nothing. But the dolphins corral the sardines, driving them to the surface. Now they're not only easier for the dolphins to catch, they're in easy reach of the gannets. By working together, the gannets and dolphins mount an air and sea assault with no parallel in the natural world. this seasonal banquet that drives the bird's whole existence. With bellies full, the hunters return to Bird Island, the biggest Cape Gannet colony in the world. Sixty-five thousand breeding pairs in all. The gannet's success entirely depends on timing their breeding cycle to one great seasonal event. Back in Europe, the bulb fields of Holland are in bloom, showing that spring has well and truly arrived. It's also a sign that the crane's breeding grounds are not far away. Colored landscape was reclaimed from salt marshes. In the past, cranes would have stopped here to breed. Nowadays, they keep on traveling to where natural marshes can still be found. Having flown 3,000 miles from North Africa, the family arrive at their final destination in Sweden. Here, they will finally settle for the summer to breed. The crane's journey has ended for now, and across the rest of Europe, millions of other migrants are just arriving from Africa. swallows are among the most celebrated. Few can equal their aerobatic skills. They even drink without missing a beat.
they've travelled over 6,000 miles from South Africa to return to this English farm where they were born. They were well equipped for the journey. Their long pointed wings and forked tail give them unrivaled flight control. The males arrive first. Their job is to repair the nest before the females return. After a six week flight, they'll take any meal on offer. Some nests have been in the family for 50 years, and like all old properties, they need a spot of renovation. The right materials are everything. A lining of feathers will do nicely. Summer is also underway in North America. By now, birds have set up home in every corner of the continent. The Grand Canyon provides perfect conditions for those that soar. effortlessly rides the air currents that swirl around the crater's rim. Apart from updrafts of air, this barren gorge appears to offer little for a water-loving eagle. But these huge canyons were carved out by water, and down below, the mighty Colorado still flows. Eagles master the air by using their feathers to sense and react to the slightest updraft. By understanding the way the landscape shapes the wind, they use little energy looking for a meal. has sustained life in these deserts for the last 17 million years. It still feeds a growing population of bald eagles today. as an opportunity, birds will grasp it and reap the rewards. Marshlands of South Carolina provide an unusual opportunity for another fish hunter. The great eagle could teach the eagle a thing or two about fishing. 